So here Archbishop Vigano is saying, you know, instead of looking for men who are saints, who are on the unit of way, who are contemplatives, who are lovers of God and lovers of the neighbor and of the poor, it seems, at least Archbishop Vigano is saying this, and I have to agree with them, that the men chosen for the highest office are marked by what he calls corruptibility, blackmailability, and adherence to a political current. He goes on to say, the cardinals appointed by the Bergoglian church are perfectly consistent with that deep church of which they are an expression, just as the ministers and functionaries of state are chosen and appointed by the deep state. And if this happens, it is because the crisis of authority, which we have been witnessing in the world for centuries and in the church for 60 years, has now metastasized. And I would just say over 60 years. But yes, otherwise in agreement. Here's the meaty part from Archbishop Vigano. Honest and incorruptible leaders demand and obtain convinced and faithful collaborators because their consent and collaboration derive from the sharing of a good purpose, one's own sanctification as well as that of others, using, using morally good instruments to achieve it. Analogously, corrupt and treacherous leaders require subordinates who are no less corrupt and disposed to betrayal because their consent and their collaboration derive from complicity in crime, the blackmail of the hitman and the one who hires him, and from the lack of any moral hesitation in following orders, end quote. This reminds me of the Corleone family, the Godfather. See, it's their complicit in crime, in murder, that roots them and keeps them in order of the hierarchy of the Godfather and of the Mafia. That's the way it works. Archbishop Vigano is saying that same false mentality, that Mafia mentality, has entered into the Catholic Church, into the hierarchy. Vigano then says, but loyalty and doing evil, let us not forget, is always only for a time, and hanging over it there is the sword of Damocles, of the boss remaining in power, and of the absence of a more and more profitable alternative for those who serve him. Conversely, loyalty and doing good, which is rooted in God, who is charity and truth, does not know any second thoughts, and is ready even to sacrifice life unto the pouring out of blood. For that spiritual or temporary authority that is the vicar of the authority of our Lord, who is both king and high priest. This is the martyrium symbolized by the cardinal's robes. This will also be the condemnation of those who profane it, believing themselves to be protected behind the Leonine walls. It is therefore not surprising that an authority that is based on blackmail surrounds itself with people who are vulnerable to blackmail nor that a power exercised on behalf of a subversive lobby wants to guarantee continuity with the line that has always been undertaken, preventing the next conclave from electing a pope rather than a vaccine vendor or a new world order propagandist, end quote. Vigano says, I wonder which of the eminences who dot the foul mouth press with their colorful nicknames and the burden of financial and sexual scandals would be ready to give their lives, I do not say for their boss in Santa Maria, that's Francis, he's saying, who would, of course, himself take good care to give his life for his courtiers, but for our Lord, assuming that they have not replaced him in the meantime with the Pachamama. Boom. He's saying Francis worships Pachamama, and he's demanding obedience like Don Corleone. 